when it comes to marketing, one of those things that it seems like it's this big, um, mysterious thing, right? I remember when I first, you know, learned about SEO and pay per click. It seemed like 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 the the people at the SEO companies were like magic sorcerers, right? Like they they had this magic potion, and you didn't know anything about it. You couldn't know the terminology. You couldn't know, you know, what they were doing in the background. They were just like, hey, give me money. You know, when it comes to marketing today, there's so many options and there's so many choices that it really allows for so much opportunity for companies to, you know, not only get in the game quicker, but also to be able to, you know, tweak their marketing to make it more profitable. So I want to start by just addressing what the main purpose of all marketing is for your moving company. And so there's two things right? There's two purposes for all of your marketing. And I want you to think about this with everything that you do from here on out with your marketing. And the first purpose is to build trust. Okay. So let's just take, for example, like your website, um, and maybe like a direct mail campaign that page on your website and, and that postcard or mailer or whatever you're sending out, you know, the first thing that it needs to do is build trust with that potential customer anywhere that you market anywhere that you advertise the first purpose is to build trust so how do you build trust i mean you do that by simple things i mean you use good pictures right pictures of your staff friendly looking families you let them know your experience in the business you talk about all the stuff that you actually do right as part of your service you let them know your servicing area right? A customer wants to know you're a local company. So these are just some of the things that you could do to build trust. The second purpose of all of your marketing is to capture leads. All right. So I want you to remember this, build trust and capture leads, build trust and capture leads. That's it with all of your marketing. And what do I mean by capture a lead? Well, first of all, you know, the best way to get any type of, uh, lead is to get a phone call, right? Phone calls are like gold, right? And they're getting more and more, um, you know, sacred really, because, you know, back in the day we had yellow page ads and the phone just rang and rang and rang. And we sat back at the desk with our feet up, you know, and just answer the phone and book jobs. But now, right, you might get them to request a quote through your web form. You might get them to send in an email off your website. You might have a live chat feature on your website where they, you know, send in some information on the chat. The idea is that you either need to generate a phone call, generate a request for a quote, right, by them. And I, and I know you know this stuff, but I want to just make it really simple, right, and break it down because remember, the, the purpose of all of your marketing, build trust, capture leads. That's it, okay? So once you capture that lead, now you put that into your sales process. The next thing that you need to do with all your marketing is manage it. And managing it is really comes down to three things, all right? First, you need to test. You need to test everything, right? There's new lead sources every single day that come out. So you always wanna be testing new stuff to see if it works. But in order to do that, you have to track it, right? So not only are you gonna test it, but you need to make sure that you track it because if you're not tracking, then you have no way of knowing if it's actually working or not. The next step, the third and final step of managing your marketing is to tweak it. You know, to tweak it basically means, okay, I'm going to look at, you know, let's say I have lead source A and lead source B. And lead source A is, you know, it, it's bringing in moves, right? So normally you'd be like, oh, this is great. It's bringing in moves. But when you look at the ROI, which the ROI percentage is essentially how much money did you spend in relation to how much money you made, right? So let's say you made, you know, $100,000, right? On a particular lead source, uh, that's the move revenue that it brought in, but you spent $5,000 to get those leads, your uh, marketing ROI percentage would be 5%. And then marketing source B, maybe you spent much less. Maybe you only spent, you know, um, $1,000, but that $1,000 maybe brought you in uh, 5,000, right? So I think that would be uh, 20%, right? So, you, so you're looking at 20%. So now when you look at that, if you're spending 20% on a particular lead source, 
you can't have profitable moves, right? You've got too many other expenses that you need to take on in your job costing, right? So what do you do? Well, for me, the first thing I would do is say, okay, can I take that thousand dollars from lead source B, right? That's not quite working. And can I spend more on lead source A, right? In other words, if it's a, whatever, if it's a pay-per-click campaign, if it's a direct mail campaign, if it's a, a lead provider, whatever it is, can I spend more money there? Am I maxed out with the read with the area that I'm covering? Basically what it comes down to is when you do the tweak, right? You say, okay, I'm going to take the thousand dollars from lead source B, right? And if that lead source B is producing 20% as your marketing is your ROI percentage, that's not good, right? So you're going to say, okay, maybe I just need to eliminate that. By the way, if you want to learn how to do this stuff in depth, you need to be at Moving Sales Academy live, period. You know we go in depth with this. So if this seems like I'm just kind of talking in theory um, and, it, and it's you know not really drilling down for like, okay, Lewis, what are the actual steps of how to do? You need to click on the link on this page, check out the testimonials that are there and make sure you get yourself to Moving Sales Academy live and set yourself up for this year to be your best year. So when you test, track and tweak, all right, which is an amazing opportunity that we have in 2019 for our marketing that we didn't have in 2001, 2002, you know, and so on with, you know, all your marketing dollars are, let's say, in the yellow pages and they're stuck there for a year. Well, now you have an opportunity to go, okay, let's see, let's bring in leads, let's try new leads, let's see what's working. All right, let's track it. We need to make sure that we track it. We know exactly where every lead source came from. So, you know, your CRM should be tracking information for you. You should be able to kind of see, uh, you know, exactly where all your leads are coming from. When people call in, you should have tracking numbers to know exactly where it came from, right? This way your marketing report is accurate and then you can make the tweaks, then you can make the adjustments. I'm, I'm all about like trying everything, right? And again, running it through that process, test it, track it, tweak it. So pay-per-click, if it's not managed correctly, right? Meaning your whole strategy from, you know, your keyword strategy to your ads themselves, to the landing page that they come on, to the thank you page after they submit a request for a quote, to the sales process after you receive that lead. If it's not like on point, you could lose a lot of money with pay-per-click. And that probably sounds like, you know, what, what's happening, right? But if you have all of those, all those ducks in a row, it could be very profitable. Now leads, like moving leads, right? Like Equate Media is a great source. You got Quote Runner, um, moving.com. Those, those are moving leads, right? Their conversion rate, how many you're going to book versus how many actual leads you get is much lower. However, if you're making the dials, if you're making the calls, if you're running them through a solid sales process, which we teach you at Moving Sales Academy, then they could be very, very profitable, right? So there's you know different types of leads. There's like, hey, moving leads, like we have to work for these. We have to spend some time really making the dials and doing the follow-up, which is okay, right? No problem doing that. However, you also have other lead sources that will just produce phone calls, right? Um, your website, direct mail, right? So if you don't have the staff to make the calls and you're not willing to make the calls and you just buy moving leads and call them once and that's it, you're not going to see any return on that. So listen, all of this stuff has to work together, right? It's all about having a complete system on how to do it. That's what I'm going to teach you at Moving Sales Academy Live. I've got some great guest speakers that I'm going to be announcing either this week or next week. Listen, click on the link, watch the testimonial videos. You need to be there. I want you there because I know what it's going to do for your business. And I know what it's done for everyone's business that's come. All right. Thanks for being here. I'll see you.